Supporters, family and friends of 16-year-old Yanga Sabetwa, Idols the State's finest are gathered in numbers to support the young one. Here is the spent. potential that he's got this thing, and then we were tatwa, why you back worship team as the youngest she is. I think he was nine years, eleven years Ganjina. Wabaku worship team since then. When the booms get up of worship team, when the flames, we are the worship team, Emin and Jalo, Wakula, we are up until each stage the teenager. Even I'm done a good supayo, I come down in Jarum Dana Jokal, Mundana Tan to say, I'm done a solo life way to we are Tana Gutu Suswak. And then can go to Uyanga. Up I wa conza ke up paper please and down food soon dima and then can go pull up again go aye in a waka maka wangena na we quaya wa do like a quiet gone to any uki telanga pans again I was ne easy in to easy panga pans is no pool of agati. We don't believe from she's from our family. We like eh it's like Chiana. My mom would be like, eh, it's like girl coming from my womb or something. So like we are amazed. It's overwhelming. It has its good side and its bad side. But we see it and we like we're proud of her and she's making our family proud. We are encouraging the the community. We are encouraging the teenagers to show them what what the youth can do. It's been an amazing. My team is it's the multiple people. It's Auntie Khadija. She has been taking the rims and pulling us from left to right. We've been going around driving on the microphone, shouting, "Vote, vote, vote for Yaga!" It's been exciting. The journey has been crazy, but I do hope she takes this crown home because it belongs to her. Huh? is on idols from my wood. I immediately try to uh, make contact with the family. So I've met the family and they are so humble. They are so humble. And I've met them and then I um, asked or offered to help. So I've been walking a, a little path with them. And then um, we had our first event and obviously there's a team, Team Younger. And they are an awesome group of people. Um, the way they also dedicated their time, sacrifice on um, 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the evening, you would still see them up and about um, um, campaigning for votes and so forth. Uh, the Department of Social Development contributed there's some water and some eats for the family that is put there. Uh, the Department of Education assisted in transporting the family uh, to the to the idols. Uh, the mother and the father they are there in, in Houghton. The younger is an inspiration to our youth. You know, it, um, she, she, she is the embodiment of that, no matter where you come from, that if you put hard work to it and dedication, that you can rise and make something um, with dedication. And this day here today is definitely explaining that to the youth, that if you put all to it and practice, then you can get as far as young as getting today to the finalists, as you just indicated. Of some African Idols, season 14. Seventeen-year-old Iyanga Sobetwa took the crown home. She is now Idols SA Season 14 winner. Being the second Cape Townian idol in the consecutive seasons, congratulations to our very own idol, Iyanga Sobetwa. My name is Apelele Meguto for our City News, Delft.